Good morning. Attorney General Martha Coakley with me is the Chief of our Criminal Bureau, Renee Dupuy, and to her left is our Detective Lieutenant uh, Robert Irwin of the Massachusetts State Police assigned to the Attorney General's office. Yesterday, Massachusetts State Police, working with Rhode Island State Police, made an arrest of Michael Halliday, age 37, at his home in Rhode Island. He is charged and is under arrest for one count of larceny by scheme, alleging a larceny by false pretenses uh, in an amount over $250. Uh, the allegations uh, behind that charge are as follows, and I want to give you a quick timeline because we do allege that this is uh, a scheme uh, that involves uh, the Venerini School in Worcester. It is a K through 8 school uh, run by a Roman Catholic order of nuns. Uh, it is a not-for-profit organization, uh, about two, over 200 students. Um, and the allegations are this, that starting in August of 2008, Michael Halady and his fundraising company, KAM Fundraising, um, was hired by the school in order to conduct a capital fundraising project for the both remodeling and extension of a convent on the premises of the school. In the fall of 2008, Michael Halady went to uh, the school administrators, uh, the folks with whom he was working at the school, to say he had found a prospective donor, uh, one who was apparently going to be very generous but wanted to remain somewhat anonymous. But Halady indicated he believed that this individual would be willing to give between three and $14 million over a period of time in order to assist the school with this particular extension project. In September of 2008, uh, the uh, school began to make checks to Halady in his role as their fundraiser as part of their um, agreement with him. And at the same time, uh, he continued to insist to them that he had this donor. In fact, they believed that they had phone conversations with this individual named Arthur. Uh, and on three separate occasions, accompanied Halady to Florida in order to uh, ostensibly have dinner with this individual, but for some reason, all of those dinners got canceled. Um, during this time period, um, also, the school, based upon the idea that this money was forthcoming, uh, entered into contracts for the said project, for the uh, construction project. That construction um, by the, um, uh, in June of 2009, the demolition and construction began. That began underway. Uh, that came to a halt in the fall of 2009 because it became apparent that uh, there were no funds available to pay for the construction, although up to $3 million had already been expended on this project. Um, there was uh, no checks from the donor and there was no uh, money for the school to pay for this construction. Um, at that time, um, uh, again, Halady had been paid in the amount of uh, $370,000 for his own purposes. We allege as part of this that, that those funds went for his own personal expenses, um, for adult entertainment, and for his own travel. And as a result of this investigation, which came to us um, from Worcester authorities, which began as a result of the contractors obviously complaining that they had begun this project and were unpaid. Uh, we began an investigation into uh, the not-for-profit side of this as well as a criminal investigation to determine if any charges should issue. Uh, this matter is ongoing. Uh, we, um, as always, uh, note that this is these are allegations only and this defendant, Michael Halady, is innocent until proven guilty. Um, we. Uh, want to make sure that people understand that the school is an ongoing not-for-profit. They are still operating and, and pursuing their mission as a school. Um, and at this time, uh, I'll take questions. If